What's poppin' beauty gang? So, as I can tell by the title, I gotta transform this bird's nest that's on my hair, okay? It is holiday season, and I'm tired of looking raggedy. I just feel real raggedy. I'm gonna try to transform my natural hair, and I actually have a few helpful friends here with me. In particular, um, I got natural wigs from this brand called Finger Comber. I'll leave their info in the description box below, and now this video is not being sponsored. I just knew my hair was gonna turn out so bomb, y'all. We're gonna wanna know how I achieved it, so here we are. Yeah, let's look at this beauty. Mm -hmm. New unit. <laughs> The honeycomber unit, that's what this is. I love how natural these units look. That's why I'm like obsessed and will continue to be a loyal customer to this black owned brand, by the way. Cause I've yet to find until now a wig or texture that genuinely mimics my type four natural hair. Some claim, but it, it, it don't be hitting like that. And I've actually rocked this unit multiple times. I have multiple hairstyles that I've done with it. Looks serving looks. And it literally looks like my hair. You probably wouldn't have known had I not told you. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I don't make my parts and I'm thinking about it too. It doesn't even have to be like a perfect part all the way around. I feel like then it, it shows too evidently that it's a wig. If it's kind of riggedy, that's fine. This is what the kinky wave unit looks like. Kind of the Bantu wand curl look. Backside, so I wanna put my hair in a ponytail, right? All this can't just be braided away. You're gonna be able to see the tracks and the wig and we're trying to camouflage. A little bit, you just need a little bit of leave out. Not too much, just a little. Something, something. Make sure there's gonna be hair available when I wanna put it into a ponytail or something. I'm not out here. Ooh, child, I really need to get my hair together though. Three, we need fourth one. That kitchen area. I get to that kitchen. Gotta get that, 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 that. Mm, mm, mm. Gotta get that. Mm, mm, mm. So. Once you get all of the perimeter of your hair out, it should look something like this. The whole front, in my opinion. Well, you don't have to do it this way. This is the way I'm doing it. But I got the whole front with a little bit of leave out. My side, all around that back perimeter, behind the ear, got that. The kitchen, so therefore everything right here, this right here, this is going away. This is going to be protected. So one, two, three, four. Now I got to detangle a little bit the bird's nest. I kind of messed up and did a halo braid on myself recently. And this side was the end of that braid, which is why it has like this uh, texture going on. Whereas this other side, it kind of stayed pretty blow dry and straightened because it didn't have the type of uh, intensity in terms of the braiding pattern, but it's cool. It's cool. Now, what y'all about to see is a very lazy natural at work, okay? If I wanted to be super, I guess you could say neat about it and stuff like that, I would do multiple braids and it would be a whole thing, but I, I don't think it's necessary because the style's gonna get done regardless and the hair is going to be protected regardless. Now, I think I can do two, let's see if it'll work. My hair's pretty thick, but I think I can do two braids and be okay. If it, ain't, if it ain't perfect, don't judge. Ain't nobody gonna see this no way. I'm letting y'all see behind the scenes of the ghetto operations, okay? Honestly, too, just think of it as any, remember the sew-in days? I used to get so many sew-ins in high school and college. If you know how to braid, and it doesn't even have to be like these perfect cornrow braids. That's what I learned over the years. As long as you can braid, you can make it flat, you're good. You can do a sew-in on yourself, or in this place, do like a protective style wig that looks like a sew-in. Well, this is what I'm gonna use on my leave out, but I'm gonna use just a little bit on my actual hair as well, along with some wild growth hair oil. I'm gonna mix that together just to give my hair underneath just a little bit of care. We're not gonna neglect it entirely, okay? Cocoa cream, some oil. 
Well, ends in general are the driest part of your hair, so don't neglect. perfect but it's just flat enough you just don't want it to be bulky like stick up bulky and thankfully it's not like I'm putting on a uh, Brazilian straight wig you know because the wig I'm putting on is like a natural hair texture and pattern it won't be noticeable so that's one something simple I'm gonna do the other side same exact thing to the other side By the way, if you're interested in learning how to cornrow, I did post a video some years ago on basically how I taught myself how to cornrow. I'm not no professional, I'm not the best at it, but I get the job done. As you can see, I get the job done. We're gonna hit these parts with some oil because it's a protective style. Alright, so once the braids are done, go ahead and grab you a nice handy dandy wig cap. Doesn't even have to be your complexion because it's not a lace front wig. Actually show y'all crisscross it in the back. Mm -hmm. And take the wig cap, bring it over, then we're protecting. Inside the wig are these combs. That's what actually goes right in here. And it also has adjustable straps in the back. I have a tiny head, so I already know that these straps are too far apart. And it has a comb in the back too. Starting from the back, just like you would any wig. It's so snug. I don't even have to necessarily put the comb in there, but I will just to be sure it'll stay. So there's the comb. I'm gonna turn it inward. I wanted to eat that scalp, okay? Eat that scalp. It's secure. Pull the rest of the wig over any part of the wig cap that is showing. And this is why it's important too to adjust the wig to like fit your head. Cause it's not going anywhere. This look like it's mine. Okay. Now also, key point two, I'm gonna go ahead now and let this leave out in the back. Let it out. Now this is obviously how it's looking before I even blend. I'm actually going to go ahead and flat twist my hair so when I take it out, it'll mimic this type of pattern a little bit more. Now, the way my hair, the state my hair is in now would look great with the kinky straight unit, but because it has kind of the curls and stuff going on, I want it to just blend as good as possible. So I'm gonna do some twists in the back, some two strand twists in the back, maybe even three, and then some flat twists in the front. So when I take it out, It'll blend so nice. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that, but first I wanna show y'all as well. As you can see, it lays flat. And there's so many different hairstyles that you can do with this unit. And this is why it's important for that base to be flat. Now mine was a tad bit bulky to do a um, low sleek pony, but low key I could pull it off if I wanted to, I really could. And also the more leave out you have, keep this in mind, the more leave out you have, the more it'll cover the hair. But honestly, even from a distance, even with my hair in a blow dried state, not even mimicking the pattern of the unit yet, tell me this don't look like my hair. Tell me, you can't. Cause it's that bomb, like this brand is bomb. 10 out of 10 recommend for any naturalista. Make sure you invest in one of the finger comber wigs. Gotta also do the test to make sure there's enough leave out in the back. And this is why it's important to leave stuff out around the perimeter. I don't even know how that's looking from y'all's point of view, but it doesn't look too bad. Now I do look like a peanut head back here. <laughs> Just a little bit, but that's because this is a rush job. Again, y'all can take your time. Or honestly, I still think it looks pretty natural. Looks like a high puff. This will save your life, especially if you're a lazy natural like your girl. Whole perimeter is taken care of. <laughs> Quickest sewing you've ever seen in your life. Now we're gonna get into blending the hair. Gots to blend it. Now that y'all have seen what it looks like with a little bit of leave out, 
I'm gonna go ahead and now tame this leave out so that it can mimic the curl pattern of the wig. is what I'm gonna flat twist and these back here I'm going to two strand twist. Same method and technique though. I'm gonna use this moisture butter. Boom. By the way, if you're wondering if your hair needs to be in blow dry form to accomplish and achieve this look, no, it doesn't. The pictures that you guys saw of me in previous times that I wore the wig, that was me just twisting my hair, uh, my natural hair, like out the shower pretty much in its natural form, so. Now I am hoping that these two strand, uh, or these flat twists turn out good. I haven't done them in so long, I'm really not even for sure if it feels the way it's supposed to feel. Got flat twist lined all around. And now I'm gonna go ahead and let my leave out. Do what it do, coil back. I probably should add a little bit of water here because this side is starting to coil really nicely. You see them ends, that's why it's important to coil the ends. This side need a little help. I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of water so it coils. But I will be back to show you guys the takedown process of the blending and then we're transformed, honey. So my flat twists are dry, well all my twists, yeah, are dry. It's time to take down. I'm actually gonna put on the wig, put it in a ponytail, and then we're gonna see how it blends. Make sure these teeth go in, it's a little secure. I'm gonna go ahead and use this argan oil, put it on my fingertips so when I take it down, we can try to prevent some frizz. All right, that's a good sign. <laughs> what I was nervous about, so let's see. Having oil on the fingertips also helps with the separation, because I think it kind of gives it like a slip and slide effect to the hair, instead of it just being straight up dry, and to me that's what causes the frizz and tangles and whatnot, so it makes, makes it just a little bit easier on everybody, including the hair strand. <laughs> This back part is done, looking nicely defined. Here for that. Not too shabby, that'll do the trick. Now the front, front is the telltale. the leave out that I left out, looking real cute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let out the rest of this hair from the wig. Mm-hmm. To blend in there nicely. My hair, the leave out of my hair is almost looking too perfect. Y'all yeah, can see how it blends really, really nice. This is bomb.com. Now, in the past, I'll flip it to one side, looking like Shaka Khan or uh, Tina Turner in this joint. And this is before even laying the edges, because you know we gotta lay them edges, you know. You already know. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this edge control I have been obsessed with lately. Gummy Professional. The hold is impeccable. Boy, my hair.
ready. The edges have been laid and slayed. I'm just feeling a little extra with it. I like having fun with my edges. Comment below if you're somebody like that or do you lay your edges at all? I wanna know. Do I have edger layers or non-edger layers? What y'all feel like? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and now let these edges set for a few minutes. Come back and the hairstyle will be complete. By the way, I have noticed over the years that using a bandana to lay my edges instead of a satin scarf molds my edges way better. It makes them hold all day. Like it's just a huge difference. So for my edge layer queens out there. But all right, I will come back to reveal the final look for y'all. And we back, and we back, and we back. Yep, that's flat. That's flatter than that thing. Take these out. Middle part, right? We can have a little big middle part like so. This hair blends with natural hair. Sorry, I'm looking all up at myself through the little uh, flip screen. I should be looking at y'all. I know y'all see this. I know y'all see this, okay? Talk about transform. And what I will say too is over time, it's kind of like the older the hairstyle, the better it looks. So as the leave out ages, it'll start blending even better with the wig. Cause we got definition going on here, but I think it's cute cause the style will last me. Anyway, that concludes the video you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this natural hair transformation. If you guys want me to do more videos like this, comment below. We want more, hashtag we want more. And I will keep the natural hair transformation videos coming y'all's way. I hope you enjoyed, I'll leave the link to the uh, brand, the black owned brand description box below for anybody who's interested in purchasing the wig. And yeah, until then, have a very slayful holiday season, beauty gang. And until next time, bye.